Do you want to ride on the dashboard of my car to chop it up with me? Hi. On this episode of Driving with K. John Stewart, I'm going to talk a little bit about the death of Fred Phelps and the spreading of misinformation on the internet and social media. So let's do it! So, as many of you know, Fred Phelps, the founder and head of the Westboro Baptist Church, passed away just the other day. And the public's reaction is honestly not very surprising. You know, he was a very hated man. Um, everybody's, the way in which they relish the death of another person, to me, is a little creepy. I get why people feel that way, you know, but at the same time, like, it, for me, it's something I would just think, like, privately, maybe. You know, I'd have my own little private celebration in my head. But then you've got people who want to like pick at his funeral, which is f***ing moronic. Are you kidding me? That's a, you're, what a hypocrite. That's the exact same thing he did to other people. Well, he deserved it. Well, he... I'm not an eye for an eye person. You know, that's just so stupid to me. And so when I hear people say that or I see people, someone was like, Slayer's going to pick at his funeral. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it's f***ing stupid. I just spit. I'm spitting mad. The point I'm getting at is their machine of hatred runs on a mixture of gas and oil, if you will. Uh, the gas being intolerance and hatred of groups they disagree with or lifestyles they disagree with, and the oil being publicity. They know exactly what they're doing. They're playing everybody. Everybody that sees, you know, them picket a, 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 oh, like a military person's funeral, and then flips out about it and posts about it on Facebook and gets all pissed off or whatever. They're doing exactly what they want you to do. They're playing you. They're doing it on purpose. Because think about it. Here's their plan. It's like, a, say. You have a group of 500 people, okay, that hear about them picketing a funeral. Um, 499 of those people are still going to hate them just as much, if not more. What's going to happen is there's going to be one person in that 500 people who are gullible and can identify with their nasty bigotry, and they're going to go, oh, well, here's a group where that kind of behavior is, is permitted, and it's, it's welcome, and I'm glad I know about the Westboro Baptist Church now. It's like email spam marketing, but with hate, you know? For every 500 people that get the email, one is gonna go to the website and maybe buy a product. And, that, and so it's all about numbers. It's all about the more people you can reach, the better. I'm on a brick road. I get it. I hate the guy. I hated the guy. I really disliked him. But at the same time, I just imagine what the f did this guy go through in his life to make him like that, you know? How was he raised? How was he, What what kind of, experiences in your life does it take to create that kind of vitriol and, and just nasty hatred for everybody pretty much to me it's better to just let things like that just rot and just rot and fade in time you know what i mean that's the best way to handle those situations now you know what i'm only contributing to the problem by talking about it in this video so here's what i'm gonna do i'm going to and delete could I just get a six shot venti tuxedo mocha? Six shot venti tuxedo mocha, you got it. Anything else? No, that's it. Alright, right, thanks, man. My heart's gonna explode. They gave me a six shot white mocha. I didn't want a white mocha, I wanted a tuxedo that's a mix of regular chocolate and white chocolate. <laughs> That's all right. I'm sure it'll still be pretty good. Number two, the spreading of misinformation on social media, especially like Facebook and stuff. We've all seen it, right? So you'll have a picture of an old hero. Well, I'll do this on the screen in real time to the power of technology. We'll have a picture of an old man and an old lady holding hands, you know, to imply that they've been together for a long time. And the text over the picture would read, this is Jack and Martha Tinklemeyer, right? And Jack was about to die, but he waited eight extra hours until Martha could travel from New Mexico to be by his side. And then a Marine swooped in on a chandelier and saved a cat. And then, oh, but by the way, Jack, was it Tim? What was his name? Jack Klinkelmeyer? Tinklemeyer? I don't remember. Jack also happened to hide a soapbox derby trophy that he won when he was five. 
up a dog's butt. And then eight years later, his grandkids discovered it. People will post that and other people will be liking it and commenting it and pinning it on Pinterest and sharing it. People just buy it. And they're like, oh, so sweet. No, it's not all oh, so sweet because it didn't fucking happen. It's not real. It's a story. Somebody made it up. And I don't know if people are like just super gullible or if people like, if they just want to believe things like this so badly. Now, human interest stories aren't particularly serious or harmful or anything like that. They're just fluff. They're feel good stories. I understand that. You know, so I'm not, not to be overly cynical. There's a place for those. I'd still prefer you'd make sure they're actually true. But when it does genuinely bother me is when it slips into the realms of things that genuinely have an impact on society as a whole. Um, we're talking at least American culture, you know, because that's where I live. So vaccinations, politics, gun laws, pro anti this, abortion, all these things. When I see people spreading stuff around about those topics, those issues, and it's that same kind of false whatever, that me off to no end or sometimes it's not completely bullshit. sometimes it's, it's objective facts sprinkled with subjectivity but they don't tell you that you have to do the research on your own you can't go to gogreen.org slash I hate vaccinations and you should too face and post a link from that and share it as if it's truth they obviously have an agenda their agenda is is the same as your agenda they're pandering to you that's where they get their advertising dollars so they're gonna say things you want to hear the same thing if you're on a website that's you know mostly Republican based, then they're gonna say things that you as a Republican wanna hear. That doesn't mean they're not gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of a little, you know, to make it a little more enticing or a little more controversial. It's up to you to research that and make sure it's accurate or true before you spread it around as truth. Ooh, hang on, I've always wanted to do this. Pardon me. Do you have any gray poupon? I don't think you like that at all. And it's easy to double check stuff. Just go on Wikipedia, uh, go on Snopes.com, go to the Center for Disease Control. There's places all over the internet. Go to a fing library, I don't care. But make sure what you're posting is real and accurate and can be corroborated by actual evidence. Ideally, it's peer reviewed, you know? So someone makes a claim and it looks good, and then other people in the same field look at it and go, Yes, we agree with that, or no, we don't agree with that, you know? And that way you can come up with really concrete information. So for me, like, if it's between, would I rather see stupid stuff posted around about Harold, or what's his name? Tim, God. Trippy? Tripskin? I don't remember his name at all now. Whatever the old man's name is. Would I rather see stories about him shoving his hand up a dog's butt and hiding his trophy? Or would I rather see someone saying something that's not true about uh, pro-vaccination, anti-vaccination, uh, pro-firearm control, anti- I'd rather hear about a guy sticking his hand up a dog's ass. I, you know, I don't know about you, but it's good, to, it's good to be opinionated. It's good to have a strong opinion on something and to believe in, in something and all that. I, I, I understand. But you can't let that same drive and focus blind you to the truth or blind you to being critical of your own opinion. That's just as important as having the opinion to begin with. Be willing to be wrong. Don't only accept things that further your cause. Look outside the box. Always, constantly about all kinds of things, all the time. Be willing to be wrong. I know it's never gonna happen. I know I'm just talking shit. I know this is just my opinion, my feeling, but hey, it's my video, you know? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? If just one person maybe thinks about it, one out of 500, see what I did there? I went back to the thing thinks about what I've said and maybe changes their mind or eases up a little bit, then I'm happy and I feel like I've accomplished something. If not, well, you know, pee in a hat and wear it. All right, I have reached the end of my journey. I've had fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I guess I will see you guys next time. Have a great evening or day.